in Turbo CAD Professional 316.1. We've got the old Bulldogs here up on the screen. I'm just going to show you a bit of the environments we can create for product visualization. I'm just going to pop up a graduated backdrop there. These are under the render scene environment tab. Graduated inverted. Clouds if you like. my bag really and I'm just going to pop it into graduated inverted ok the moving jaw I believe has had its reference point relocated against the centre axis of the pin there so we can open the jaws up a bit The uh, four cutting blades, 100mm by 100mm, have been 3D added to the jaw so they, they move up with it. Just trundling along there. And I'm going to grab hold. Look to the drawing centre there. Nice look of probably the open jaw. It's a bit slow because I'm in full render mode here. And that's not really showing me much. On the standard toolbar, we can full drawing into view man I'm not particularly happy with that either I'm going to pop into the 3D menu some isometric views and what I'm going to do it's a lot quicker doing this in wireframe and get somewhere close to a look we want. I'm just going to pop that into hidden line mode. quality rendering there. Profits have already been set on this drone so it's like a blue steel. The drone should come up now in the fully rendered mode. I think that's not a bad look there. Uh, where are we? Let's go on the standard toolbar. And just have it. Options. Lost my way. Uh, where am I? Where am I? Three D. Russian. 
Taking a bit, just slow down. Standard toolbar. And there it I missed it. Create a view. Mechanical shear. Might just put ISO one. Happy with that. Down here in paper space. Probably an old drain going to pop out of here in a minute. See down on the right there the progress. And this is a, the remnants of an old drain that's left. I think the last time we did this we had a problem selecting the drain. Oh. Looks like straight in there. Drain selected. <coughs> Delete that. Pop into the box there. And we're going to insert a viewport in the top corner there. If you go down the screen it will automatically pop the drain up higher. On the money there. Mechanical shear ISO 1 go to. Doing a fair bit of graph the program now. Bringing up a full realistic photo realistic image. like I need to alter the URL on the updates check there. I'm going to close that, happy with that. Pop the join in on the select tool. And I'm going to right click for properties. And I'm going to go for a quality rendering here and within a couple of minutes we'll be able to publish this to the web and if you think about sat there all day doing that, you can be pretty productive. Of course, we're more in interested in the data. I can't remember if I told you this is a Swedish memory steel. I'm just going to click outside the drawing there. Bronze bearings, high tensile Allen bolts there, 4100 by 100 very hard steel blades and I'm going to save as and a few little things to do here, I'm going to change it from a turbo CAD for Windows file down to a JPEG and we'll get mechanical shear and it's the ISO view 2 we can call it and I'm going to have to Alter the destination of this, Stuart.ad. Click down, pictures, open that up. And somewhere down here, we'll have the old alligator shear open. And now I can just save the drawing there. So we're in paper 
type space at the moment. Just wait while it's filed away. Pop back over to model space in the 3D world. D tab should have dropped this out of full rendering so the program isn't working so hard. Have a look around again, just see. And I think I'm just going to pop that into hidden line. select and I'm going to get a bit more jaw going for effect that's obviously way too far back but I'll come back in a bit click anywhere outside the drawing just to get out of the select mode before I render it I'm going to pop it into standard toolbar get the drawing centered up and back in the quality rendering. On the right here we can see some progress. About to jump out of the thing. There she comes. Well, that'll be a good shot on its own, but render scene environment, graduated invert. Let's have a look. Well, let's have a look what we got on the other backgrounds, but we've used them too much. Straightforward picture there. New York for the New Yorkers. And not really, a, not really the sort of environment for it. We'll just go back into uh, background none. Graduated inverted, which is my favourite. And render scene luminance. Well, this is a, <laughs> a game on its own. I'm just going to go into the lights because that will take us a long time to go through. Normally, be doing most of this in wireframes, hell of a lot quicker. And I was just looking for, oh, there we are, lights. Lots of different light settings headlight on there, directional, point lights, spotlights. Let's try altering one of its properties. I'm not sure where they're positioned. May not alter it at all if it's pointing from the back. 
and they should have shown you a little trick now. And we can This is very slow. And we can see just by turning them to one. We have a spot pointing down there somewhere. 